Welcome back to the Lizabitty channel. Thank you. You know, I'm having a serious problem with the United Snakes of America always trying to put human rights violations on others when they don't address their own human rights sitting right here at home. At home, I mean within the boundaries of the United States of America. Consistently calling out China for human rights violations, calling out all of these other countries, but yet they don't sweep around their own front door. What you see on your screen is dealing with definitions of human rights as indicated by the UN. There are, I believe, 30 articles of human rights violations. And what we are going to do in this video is merely address one as it pertains to having uh, clean water and waste water systems. As you know, this has been an ongoing situation in the United States, but it's always happening with marginalized populations, i.e. melanated people, people of melanated descent. How is it that a small town in Alabama still has no wastewater processing, which has gone on for 50 plus years. We're still having issues with lead and water, and we all know what happens when you have lead in your water. When we talk about, you know, servitude and slavery, there are certain articles I'm going to get into later. I'm going to make this a series. And then you're going to see the, hip the hypocrisy of the land in which you live in. So before you all start making these accusations about what happens on Mama Alcabulon and all of this, that, and the third, sweep around your own front door. Get your own personal business together before you begin lamb blasting others about what they're doing. How are we continuously trying to police the world when yet we do not take part and do the right thing by blacks within America? I am not saying that people cannot express themselves and say, hey, why not do things this way or that way? But the policing of others when you are at fault day in and day out, nobody's tolerating that. Hence why China checked them. Now I am no proponent of China, but let's just get down to business. As you look at your screen here, take note to the top five human rights acts and what they are going to indicate and tell you about the system of the West. And America's not the only one at fault. All of these Western societies are at fault. Lizabeth out. Subscribe, like, and comment. It's really the waste that comes out of the septic tank. It's, that's what it is. It's, it's, it's like the raw sewage that comes out of your body. It's the odor. It's the smell. It's the raw sewage that comes out of a person's body. That's what it is. There's no other way to explain it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And that is all over your yard? Yes. This is an area close to the lagoon. And the resident says when the red light goes off at the lagoon, look for her yard to flood with raw sewage the next day. And she said out of all the years that she have lived here, which is like 28 years, her children or her grandchildren has never been able to play in the yard during spring break because it's always wet or flooded out with raw sewage. And this is a pretty nice yard, large area for the kids not to be able to play in it during their spring break. This whole area floods out here with raw sewage. My name is Mary McDonald. I lived in Lowell's County for 53 years. I'm a caregiver. I work part-time with Alabama Center for Rural Enterprise, Acre, doing community work. I've always been the type of person to well, if you want something done, somebody's got to do something. And why can't that someone do me?
homeowner is responsible for the systems, deep for the individual systems here in Lowndes County uh, because they own the property, but they cannot afford the remedy. And unlike in places like the, in the urban communities, taxpayers' money actually help establish those systems. Here, they leave it up to poor people to do it. And because they cannot afford it, it doesn't get done. And then they're prosecuted for not being able to afford the remedy. And the, the policies are not in place to enable a solution. Because instead of a massive effort being made to put in place wastewater treatment that could take in the affluent that's been released into the environment, it's been left up to poor homeowners who don't have the resources to do it. It's been like this for the last 50, 60 years. There's nothing done about sewage. Every individual got their own sewage, and depending on the perk of the land, it's coming out of the ground. And there may be part of the problem with the health condition here. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired. I mean, why? Why is all this injustice being going let to go on and nobody's being here responsible? They can simply gut themselves and take advantage of the poor people. And then still not doing anything about it. It is unfair. Where is the justice? 